Fortnite Battle Royale's free-to-play mode is live, Ultima Online is going free-to-play, all that and more, I'm Zach Sharps, and this is Free-to-Play Weekly. First up in the news this week, nobody at Blizzard has to compute how much Hearthstone sales affect the sales of a physical version of the game, but Wizards of the Coast has to with their digital incarnations of Magic the Gathering. In regards to Arena, the plan for the free-to-play card game is to launch new card sets in tandem with the physical product. This is good news, but not that surprising either because with Magic Online, communications manager Steve Sanu referenced that sometimes cards even arrived a day early. Personally, I'm hyped for Magic the Gathering Arena. What about you? However, a game that doesn't have such a bright future and Mass Entertainment's free-to-play shooter Zombie Monsters Robots will no longer be playable after October 31st. The company announced the closure of the game on its website, stating that at present there are no plans to continue the game in any other way. For those with EMP left on their account, it will be usable on any other en masse game. For anyone who played between July 18th and September 18th of this year, you'll definitely have EMP to use as they'll be sending out 1000 when the game shutters. That's a nice gesture, especially if you're a fan of other en masse titles. Overall, not really surprising news, but unfortunate for fans of the game if there were any. Speaking of a game that has fans, the free-to-play Battle Royale version of Epic Games Fortnite went live this week and to great success. Boasting via Twitter, Epic stated that over 1 million players tried out Fortnite Battle Royale on day one, and since then, I've been seeing it rise up the ranks on Twitch, so it seems to be gaining more and more traction as the days go on. There's a good bit of the game still in construction though, such as leaderboards, statistics menus, and more stuff planned for the future, but the basics are there and are pretty solid. What's hopeful too is Epic has been taking feedback quite seriously and has been fine-tuning numerous aspects of the game such as the accuracy of guns that I mentioned on last week's show. If you're curious about the title and want to learn more there is a first look live on the channel so go check it out. Ultima Online may be one of the longest running games to add a free to play mode that's designed to entice new players and lure back old ones. After 20 years of being online and being one of the pioneers of the MMORPG market, Ultima Online is adding what developers are calling Endless Journey. Players will have access to all content through Stygian Abyss, and expansions after that point need to be purchased. Other restrictions include limited vault slots, an inability to place or use a house, ineligibility for promotional rewards, and more. For the most part, it just seems like the standard limitations that we see in these types of transitions, most of which can be of course waived through purchasing stuff from the shop as well. So if you're a longtime fan of Ultima wanting some nostalgia, it looks like Endless Journey might be your ticket. That is when it releases Spring of 2018. That said, it's time for the question of the week. Last week on the show, I asked your guys' views on review bombing. Surprisingly, a lot of you guys felt it was quite childish and defeated the purpose of reviews, which is pretty much my opinion on the matter. This week, if you wish for your comment to be possibly featured on next week's show, make sure to leave a comment down below. This week's question is, what MMORPG was your first and what would it take for you to go back to it assuming you've left it? Last up in the news this week, Daybreak Games took another step to kill off the EverQuest franchise. What am I talking about? Well, despite their previous policy of adding older expansions to EverQuest 2's free-to-play lineup, their new plan is not to add anything further to the free-to-play lineup. Meaning, if you don't pay up, you won't be seeing new expansions anytime soon. I agree with their own Jason Winter, who stated that handing out the old expansions for free was this overly generous of Daybreak to begin with. What's odd as well is why now? Do they really think that this is going to make a lot more money for them? Does this even really matter in regards to their whole portfolio? It's just a strange move from a company that's been increasingly illogical over the years. You know what isn't a strange move? Checking out the giveaways page, of course. Yes, check out the page, bookmark the page, and check it daily to ensure you never miss one. As for myself, signing out till next week's show, my name is Zach Sharps, and I'll catch you guys next time.